Hi Virgo and welcome to your timeless relationship profile reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. So Virgo, I hope all of you have been doing well. Um, this reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Venus. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and we will look into the past, present, and future of your connection with your love interest. Past, present, and future reading for Virgo and their love interest. Oops. Past, present, and future reading for Virgo and their love interest. Well, Virgo. Seems like the cards don't want to talk. Let's see. The world card. Four of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So this is your, your past spread. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles. This is your present spread. And over here to the side, we're just going to put your future. So starting with your past, what happened in the past between you and your love interest? You have the World card. Let's clarify this. Page of Swords, Three of Wands, whoa, what is this? I feel like you were very, someone here was very conflicted. The energy here is heavy. It's very, very heavy, um, Virgo. And I'll tell you why, because what I saw very clearly with the World card is that someone was pretty much rejecting an opportunity to move forward because they were still stuck on something or someone from their past. In Clarity of the World, you do have the Page of Swords, which confirms that because the Page of Swords, I actually call this my um, having a hard time moving on card. I mean, you know, look at this individual, look at their, their body language, right? See their left foot sort of at halt and then their their right foot is like pointed forward it's like they're conflicted they're wanting to move forward but they're unable to because they're still so curious about what happened or someone from their past they're even standing on a high platform or a higher platform to get a better view of what's behind them so this is definitely a person who is struggling to move forward in clarity of that world card you also have the three of wands so it's really, and you know what, the Page of Swords, the messages here are pretty much confirming each other because with the Page of Swords, you have an individual who is really wanting to move on, but their heart is still in the past. But the thing is, although they're curious about something or someone from their past, they're holding the sword up. So whatever it is that they're still concerned about from their past is something that most likely hurt them, okay? But they're conflicted because it's like, their heart is still calling out for this thing or this person. In Clarity of the World card, you do have the Three of Wands. So I do feel like with the Three of Wands, this is them feeling very defensive towards the situation. The energy that I'm picking up is very unhealthy, but it's like very stagnant as well because this is an individual who is sort of at a standstill. They're not choosing to move forward, but they're not choosing to go back to this specific person from their past either. So it's like, what are they really doing? Being stuck in their head and not taking action. Um, the Lastly, you also have the devil card that's clarifying that world, that world card that came out. So the devil card here represents toxicity. Okay, sometimes the devil card... Um, when it comes out in a love reading, it could even, it could, it could even represent a karmic connection. But simply the devil card is saying that there is an unhealthy bond that the two of you have with each other, which is why you were unable to move forward, but you were also unable to make or to take action pertaining to this individual. You are stuck. Next, you have the four of cups. You have the Six of Cups, which is my reunion card. You have the Ten of Wands. So, 
four of cups, which is representing rejection. Okay, someone here was rejected in the past. It could have been you who was rejected or you rejected your person of interest. In clarity of that four of cups, you do have the ten of wands. So I do feel like someone was re uh, someone was trying to reunite or reconcile with their person, but they got rejected, which caused them a lot of stress, a lot of burdens here. See how this gentleman is carrying all this weight all on his own. I do feel like the person who got rejected um, started feeling like this may just be um, an unrequited love situation and it caused them a lot of heartbreak. Looking at the two of pentacles, four of pentacles, the higher font. Actually, let me pull out one more because I feel like Four of Swords. Something's telling me that this is the energy of your person in the past. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? It could be that you were the one who was wanting a reunion, but you got rejected or you felt rejected because they were already with someone else. And that's what made you feel very burdened and stressed out about the situation. Assuming that this person no longer has feelings for you and that you were unable to get this reconciliation. So... Just remember that it's general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and remember that the energies can be reversed, okay? So if I said that you did something and you know you didn't, that it was your person, then there you go. Just apply it to the situation if it is resonating. So this two of pentacles here is indecision, someone who's juggling. This is certainly the energy of your person in the past because when you initiated the reunion, Although you felt rejected, it sparked it sparked a thought in their mind like, wow, maybe this isn't completely over between um, my Virgo and I. In clarity of the two of pentacles, you also have the Hierophant. So actually, let's talk about uh, the four of pentacles because the four of pentacles and the four of swords came out before that Hierophant. The four of pentacles is saying... When you initiated that reunion, it may have not been a good timing though because they were probably dealing with someone else, but it at least made them think, wow, it may, things may not be over. Maybe there is a chance here because with the four of pentacles, they suddenly started to see once again, this abundance or this potential in the connection. In clarity of that two of pentacles, with the Four of Swords, you had them contemplating. You had them thinking about you while being with someone else. It caused them a lot of confliction, okay? And they knew that the situation that they were in could definitely be very messy because they were already with someone else. And by you trying to initiate that reunion, it's like, you know, it's causing them to feel, man, how is the other person going to feel about this? If I choose Virgo, how will the other person react? This is getting messy. In Clarity of the Two of Pentacles, you have the Hierophant. Like I said, he's, he's, some of you are dealing with a male, some of you are dealing with a woman, but they, your, your person of interest is feeling like they have to make a decision and they have to choose. But the thing is, they're not trying to make a quick decision on this because they are aware that they really have to thoroughly think about this considering the unhealthy and toxic history between you and them. Now, this is your past. Uh, this is the last card in your past. So it's most likely going to lead into your future or have major influence over your present. I'm sorry, lead into your present. This is your present spread. So looking at your present spread, you have the uh, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. 
clarify the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Wow. Okay. The message is clear here. Um, Virgo, they chose you with the Ten of Pentacles here. They're wanting something long-term with you. And you know what? The Ten of Pentacles is confirming that this connection indeed is very valuable and does have a lot of potential, especially the potential to settle down with each other, have a family. This is something that could really be long-term. In Clarity of the Ten of Pentacles, you do have the Page of Pentacles. They chose you. Okay, this is your present spread. So they will be, if they haven't already, I feel like for some of you, they your person of interest has already done this. For others of you, very soon, like in a matter of a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks with a page of pentacles, pages representing a form of communication, and they will be giving you a pentacle. You have 10 pentacles here, and then you have a, another pentacle here. So pentacles are amazing, especially when a person offers you a pentacle in a love reading. They're offering you a commitment. They're offering you stability. In Clarity of the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So they, w I'm telling you, they've made up their mind and they're choosing to go back to someone from their past, which is you, and make this work. The only thing, though, is the Wheel of Fortune typically represents, hey, you either have fortune or you don't, or you have misfortune. It really all depends on on what happened in the past. Let's look more into this Wheel of Fortune. Six of Pentacles. So I do feel like um, while this connection can be so unhealthy for the both of you, the Six of Pentacles is saying the reason why it was so toxic and so karmic in the beginning is because someone was not putting in the same work time and effort as their person there was a there was a major imbalance in the connection in the past like someone one partner was doing all the work and their person was not meeting them halfway all right so I do feel like um, that that is really why, you know, things couldn't work out between the two of you in the past. Now, the Six of Pentacles is all about balance. So as we go further along in your reading, I will tell you, you know, if this is something that you have fortune on or if this is something that you will experience misfortune, because remember that devil card did come up in the in the in the past. Clarify the Knight of Wands, Justice. Knight of Swords. Ooh, this one right here. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Interesting, because the Knight of Wands, yes, this is someone who is very passionate. But I do feel like this person does have good intentions. Like, I understand that in the past, they may have, or you felt rejected by them, but, excuse me, this connection... Time is major. Time is a big deal in this connection between you and your person of interest. Because in the past, when you were trying to reconcile with them, they were just in a in a state where they weren't really free to do that. Like I said, a lot of them were with, with another person. 
and that really made you upset. But with the Knight of Wands here, I do see this person being very passionate for you. You know what the Knight of Wands is reminding me of? Like a first love. You know how like people can be very crazy when it comes to their first love. I feel like you don't, you know, the two of you don't necessarily have, have to be each other's first love, but that's how this connection feels to them, where they're willing to leave, you know, opportunities to, to have a new beginning with other people, leave that or reject that opportunity in order to come back to you because you do have that very um, strong and, and powerful hold on them. There's history here between the two of you. In Clarity of the Knight of Wands, you do have the justice. So I do feel like um, while this connection was karmic in the past, where it's headed now, it will no longer be a karmic connection. Because whoever was in the wrong, they're having to sort of pay off that karmic debt. Okay, let me let me try to explain it better. Whoever was in the wrong, they're the ones who's having to rectify, you know, fix their mistakes and restore the balance between you and them. Because in the past, I'm telling you, one, one partner here was doing all the work, which was an injustice to them. Now that you see the justice card, this is incredible because I literally said, we got to be careful with this wheel of fortune because it's it was karmic in the past and this is saying hey that the two of you either have you know fortune or misfortune and remember i said we'll see what's going to happen later on look the justice card came out balance will be restored but let me say this the person who was in the wrong they will really have to do all the work and i guess that's just a taste of their own medicine because they were making you do all the work in the past but like I said with the knight of wands they have a lot of passion for you I do see this person having to go above and beyond to uh, regain your trust and the justice card is just saying hey that's because of what you did to them in the past that makes perfect sense next you have the knight of swords there they are again with this knight of swords I do feel like right now Things are not 100%, like things are not perfect, you know, things are not where you want it to be. I do feel like the two of you tend to clash or have been clashing recently and it's just because your person is so passionate that I feel like sometimes they can come off as reckless because they're so hot, they're so anxious to rectify this. In, um, in Clarity of that Knight of Wands, you also have the Eight of Pentacles. I literally said with the Knight of Wands that I feel like they're genuine because with the Eight of Pentacles, they are doing the necessary work to regain your tr your trust. They are working on themselves. They're trying to better themselves in order to better this connection. They will have to put in all the work this time around because I do feel like it was because of their, they were slacking. I'll be honest with you. They were slacking in the past and they made you do all the work and so now they're having to do all the work. Next, you have the King of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. Let's pull out one more. Hmm. So with the King of Pentacles, and this is the last card that ends your present. So I do see positive things happening between the two of you if it hasn't if it hasn't happened already. In clarity, so let me just tell you about this King of Pentacles, right? Because the King of Pentacles is someone who is very, very stable. This is someone who is very sure of what they want. The King of Pentacles will never, you will never see the King of Pentacles being indecisive or juggling two people. When the King of Pentacles gives you his pentacles, he is certain that it is you that he wants. So the King of Pentacles is really just assuring you, Virgo, that despite what happened in the past, your person has transformed. 
In Clarity of the King of Pentacles, you do have the Ten of Swords, though, as well as the Five of Wands. Virgo, I have to be honest with you. I feel like you have been putting this person through a lot. You've been making them jump through hoops and loops, and I don't blame you. Um, a lot of you are just trying to give them a taste of their own medicine, but I really feel like regardless of that, it's really just the karma on their side for making you do all the work in the past. So, you know, the Ten of Swords is really them being feeling rejected. The reason why they're going to feel rejected by you is because they will feel like they're the only ones doing all the work. Interesting, right? Because that's how they made you feel. But it's crazy because like with the Ten of Swords, it's going to hurt them so much. Like this, this is a serious card right here. This is the ultimate betrayal. Isn't it funny how now that they are feeling how they made you feel, they can't even handle it. They're over here being this dramatic Ten of Swords. <laughs> And you, you also have the five of wands. Like I said, I do feel like there's been a little bit of tension, some disagreements between you and them. But it's, you know, things are headed towards, towards something better because really the five of wands is just them not being able to cope with their emotions, especially being able to cope with you not, you know, always doing the work. The fact that you've kind of taken a step back is making them feel like they're losing you. Lastly, you do have the Nine of Pentacles. So I do feel like presently, uh, Virgo, you guys are surely in your power with this Nine of Pentacles. When I tell you you are unbothered and you are watching karma do its thing with this person, I really feel like you guys are just watching your person run circles and go above and beyond to make this work because they messed up big time in the past. I really feel like, especially with this devil card, this toxicity most likely came from their end and their um, unwillingness to meet you halfway in the connection. But, you know, the nine of pentacles ending your reading is saying that you will get everything that you were trying to to get in the past because your your efforts did not go unnoticed. So the nine of pentacles is saying you're already very abundant. You will, like things will end in your favor and you know it because you see karma work so really Virgo if I were you I would just keep on doing what you're doing focus on yourself work hard and watch your person you know run circles to, to get you to to forgive them but if this you know in all seriousness if this is an individual who you do want to give a second try to I will tell you this they are doing the best that they can to fix what they broke okay so virgo thank you guys so much for watching we will reveal the future in the extended reading the extended reading is $4.99 um, it is on my website so if you want to view the extended reading please check the description box and you will see the link to my website um, please remember that this is a general reading so if you would like a private reading where we will go more in depth with your situation and your love life and your person. You're more than welcome to uh, visit my website as well for that and book a private reading with me. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much for the support, Virgo. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. You guys, please stay safe. I wish you the best and you have a great day.